August 13. The dentist knew. The Lord does not see as man sees, for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, verse 7. Calvin enlisted to serve his country during World War II. He joined the Navy, completed basic training in San Diego, and headed to the Pacific to join the fight against Japan. Calvin saw heavy fighting at Guadalcanal in the Solomon Islands. He was injured when his ship, the South Dakota, took more than 40 direct hits. While manning a gun, shrapnel from an exploding bomb tore through his jaw, knocking out his front teeth. He fell three stories onto a cold steel deck, but staggered to his feet to attend to some of the 38 men who had been killed and the 60 who were wounded. But Calvin wasn't like all the other servicemen on the South Dakota. He was different. Calvin Graham was 12 years old. He had lied about his age in order to enlist in the military. While he managed to fool the Navy recruiters, there was one person he couldn't trick, the dentist. As Calvin attempted to pass himself off for 17, the dentist looked into his mouth and said, you're only 12 years old. But Calvin had stood in line behind a boy who was 15 years old and another who was 14. Because the dentist let them through without protest, Calvin argued that he too should be permitted to serve. Tired of arguing, the dentist waved Calvin on. It wasn't his mother's forged signature that gave Calvin away, nor was it his youthful looks. Many a baby-faced serviceman had looked younger than his age. The dentist could see what others could not, and when he looked at Calvin's teeth, he knew the truth about Calvin. It isn't hard to hide the real you from others. A congregation that sees you praying up front in church, singing in the choir, or taking up the offering might believe you are ready for a translation. But God doesn't see only what others see. He's able to look into the heart and see the real you. You can't fool God. And there isn't any need to. God accepts you as you are, loves you as you are and by His grace can make you what you can never make yourself.